In this video, we will review the Device Registration Setup Program, as well as how to register a device for the mobile point-of-sale app. For more information on how to allow a user ID permission to log in and use the app, watch the video titled Granting User Access. To ensure only club-approved devices allow users to be able to successfully log in and use the app, each applicable mobile device must first be approved by the club. To review and edit existing device approvals, navigate to Club Management, Club Setup, Mobile POS Devices, and Device Registration. Then go ahead and select your club. The top section of this window summarizes the devices that are in the grid below. It is important to note that you will have a set limit to the number of devices your club can have registered for the app, which is the number of POS licenses the club has. For example, if your club has five POS licenses, you can have five devices registered for the mobile POS app. If you need to adjust the device limit for your club, please contact your account rep. If needed, you can filter the devices that are shown in the grid. You can also click on a column heading to sort the grid by that column. The grid will display the following information. The hardware device associated to the registration request, the name that you have given the device, the device status, with options of awaiting registration. This is the status a device will be set at when a request to log into the app for the first time on that device is submitted. The device will need to be registered prior to a user being able to log in from that device. Registered indicates that the device has been approved and users are able to log into the app on that device. Unregistered means that this device is not considered a registered device and therefore users will not be able to log into the app on this device and this device will not count against the available licenses. On hold means this device has been put on hold, i.e. deactivated and therefore users will not be able to log into the app on this device, and this device will not count against the available licenses. It is important to deactivate slash hold unused devices to ensure that active users are able to still use active devices. This is a module level access setting. If flagged, the device will only be able to access POS. Once more modules are available on this app, you will be able to grant access to each applicable module indicates the last date and time the device status was changed. You will also be able to see the last user who logged into the device, the last time, last terminal, sales area, and last chip, as well as the last chip number. And lastly, the option to delete a device by flagging the delete button in the applicable row and clicking OK. The buttons on the right include quick access to the user administration setup program, to adjust a user's menu security and device registration restrictions or add a new user on the fly, quick access to the group security setup program to adjust applicable users' menu security and device registration restrictions, email notification, where you can enter email addresses which should receive an email notification anytime a device registration request is made. To use this feature, you will need to have set up an email type and Gmail parameters using form type P7 email device notification. And lastly is the edit log, which will display edits made to the device registration screen. Further details can be seen by double clicking on the log. Click OK if you've made any changes. Now that we've taken a tour of the device registration program, let's take a look at how to register a device. The first time a user logs into Mobile POS from a new device, the device will appear in this grid shortly afterwards with an awaiting registration status. If the new device isn't appearing on the grid, click the refresh button. You will know who is logging into the device based on the name listed in the last user column. When a user logs into the app for the first time on that device, they will receive a message similar to what you see on screen here. In order to register the device, flag the POS column and then change the status from awaiting registration over to registered. Don't forget to throw in a description so you can identify that device. Then click OK to process the updates. From here, you can notify the applicable staff that they can go ahead and log into the now registered device. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for more how-to videos, and don't forget to subscribe.